Superior to the larynx, we have the upper respiratory tract. It consists of the nasal cavity, the paranasal sinuses, and the pharynx. Here we can see the frontal sinus, and over here we have the sphenoid sinus. The nasal cavity, we can see these three turbinates. We have the inferior nasal conchi, the middle nasal conchi, and the superior nasal conchi, and these help warm, humidify, and filter the air that's coming into the lungs. The pharynx has three parts. Above the soft palate, we have the nasopharynx, which makes up the posterior portion of the nasal cavity. Between the soft palate and the hyoid bone, we have the oropharynx, and then from the hyoid bone, to the level of the cricoid cartilage is the laryngeal pharynx. Here we have the larynx, which we'll now take a closer look at. So this is the larynx. Superior to the larynx, we have the hyoid bone. The larynx consists of three paired and three unpaired cartilages. First, let's talk about the unpaired. The base of the larynx is formed by the cricoid cartilage, and this is used as a landmark for a tracheostomy. A superior to the cricoid cartilage, we have the thyroid cartilage, which is a butterfly-shaped cartilage, which goes round each side, and it has a prominence on the front called the Adam's apple. And then we have the epiglottis, and now the epiglottis is made out of elastic cartilage, whereas the rest of the larynx is made out of hyaline cartilage. And this is a flap that covers the trachea during swallowing to prevent food from going down the windpipe. If we rotate this for a posterior view, we can see two of the three paired cartilages. Here we have the arytenoid cartilage, which the true vocal cords are attached to. And on top of those, we have the corniculate cartilages, which the false vocal cords to, attach to. There's another pair of cartilages called the cuneiform that aren't shown in this model. Inferior to the cricoid cartilage, we have the trachea. And now we can take a closer look at this. This model is of the lower respiratory tract. Above the larynx is the upper respiratory tract, and below it is the lower respiratory tract. Inferior to the larynx, we have the trachea, and the trachea consists of 15 to 20 C-shaped rings of hyaline cartilage. At the base of the trachea, we have an area called the carina, which is very sensitive and will initiate a cough if any foreign bodies get that far down the trachea. The trachea divides into the right and left primary bronchi. Each primary bronchi serve a lung. The primary bronchi then divide into secondary bronchi, and each secondary bronchi serve a lobe. The right lung has three lobes, and the left lung has two, has two lobes. The secondary bronchi then branch into tertiary bronchi, and each tertiary bronchi feed a segment. The right lung has 10 segments, and the left lung has eight to 10 segments. Each tertiary bronchi further divide into primary bronchioles. The primary bronchioles then further divide into terminal bronchioles. These then divide into respiratory bronchioles, which in turn divide into alveolar ducts. The alveolar ducts finally end up in the little air sacs that are called alveoli. Each primary bronchi serve a lung. The primary bronchi then divide into secondary bronchi and each secondary bronchi serve a lobe.
The secondary bronchi then branch into tertiary bronchi. Each tertiary bronchi further divide into primary bronchioles. The primary bronchioles then further divide into terminal bronchioles. These then divide into respiratory bronchioles, which in turn divide into alveolar ducts. The alveolar ducts finally end up in the little air sacs that are called alveoli. It is not until we get to the respiratory bronchioles that we actually get gas exchange. Above the respiratory bronchioles is all considered the conducting portion of the airway.